Welcome to my guide for three-person team versus top secrets. We're going to make this challenge look easy, but first, the gear and materia. Elemental plus lightning on weapon is good for Leviathan and Pride and Joy prototype. ATB stagger and skill master give ATB to Tifa, and ATB assist gives it to the others. Magnify plus time will be used for haste, and parry is for dodging and movement. The luck ups will approve her critical hit rate, and fat chocobo is for the plus four attack. For Cloud, who will also be using the combo of elemental plus lightning. The second elemental materia is from completing all the chapter 14 side quests. Her strike will allow Cloud to cast a spell at the start of each round. Each refocus gives plus two attack and plus two magic attack, and Bahamut gives plus four to both stats. Since we'll be using Cloud as a magic user, the MP up materia will be necessary. All three characters will be using Fury Rings for the permanent damage buff. You can get them from the first floor of Corneo's mansion in Chapter 14. Aerith's setup is pretty straightforward, magic up and MP up for her spells. Like with Cloud, having first strike is essential for casting a spell immediately. Having multiple spell types is good for skill master and ATB boost to help speed things up. Leviathan is for the plus 4 magic attack. You probably noticed a complete lack of defensive options. No HP ups, no elemental and armor, fury rings increase damage taken, no weapons with reprieve or anything to survive mega flare. But don't worry, we won't need any of that. Follow this guide and we'll make every boss look easy. Set Tifa as your main and let's begin. First up is Shiva. Start off by casting Farago with both Cloud and Aerith. This will do significant damage and pressure her. Run up with Tifa and build up ATB. Once Tifa has ATB, cast Stop. This will lock her in the pressured state. Now, just build up ATB and cast more Farago. Use Arcane Ward for even more Farago. Cast Stop again if it won't last until Staggering. Once Staggered, you can do pretty much anything to finish her off. That was pretty easy, right? Fat Chocobo is next. First, have Cloud cast Faraga. Second, have Aerith cast Blizzaga. This will cause a ton of pressure. Quickly build ATB as Tifa, then use the Focus Strike right after you see Blizzaga fill the gauge. Once staggered, use True Strike repeatedly to increase the stagger percentage. Use ATB boost if needed. Use Arcane Ward, cast spells, and keep punching. Cast different spells in order to gain ATB from Skillmaster. Just keep up damage to win. Oh, and watch out for Tom Berries. Aga spells will take care of them if they're close to the Fat Joker Fence. That was another easy battle, wasn't it? Leviathan is up next, and it's a tiny bit more tricky. Start off by running to the side. As you're running, cast Thundaga with both Cloud and Aerith. Leviathan chooses his attacks by range, so run in a slightly curved path to bait Briny Bellow. If he uses Briny Barrage, it's trickier, but you can still evade it completely with parry. Keep casting Thundaga in order to pressure. After 4 or 5, you should pressure him. Switching between characters at different distances seems to delay his next action. Once pressured, use Focus Strikes to stagger, save Cloud and Aerith's ATB. Once staggered, use True Strike to raise the stagger percentage and cast Lundaka. Leviathan just melts once you stagger him. Next up is the tough one, Bahamut and Ifrit. Right away, you want to start casting Faraga with Cloud, and have Tifa run to the side. Use Arcane Ward on Cloud immediately after. Just run until Cloud hits with Faraga, then move in to build up ATV. 
before Bahamut recovers, cast another Aga spell from the Arcane Ward. Even Tifa is fine for this. The point is just to stop him from attacking, not to damage. Keep him locked down with Aga spells until you see him become pressured. Once he's pressured, focus on building up your ATB rather than using it. He summons Ifrit around half HP, so we're going to hold back on damage a little bit. Once his HP bar is about to be M in Bahamut, stop attacking and run away. It is easier to pressure Bahamut during countdown, but the pressured state is also much shorter. So it's better to wait until after for the longer pressured state. As soon as he casts Umbra Aura, run to the Arcane Ward and begin casting Aga spells. Take turns casting Aga spells, making sure you do not ever let him recover. Even Tifa should help out, because damage is not the primary point of these spells. If you saved up full ATV from the first time you pressured, you should have no issues. Once pressured, move into attack. The goal now is simply to win before he recovers from the pressured state. Many people say that Bahamut and Ifrit is the toughest fight in the entire game, but with this method to consistently skip Ifrit, this fight actually becomes quite easy. Last up is the Pride and Joy prototype. First, start casting Thundaga with Cloud while having Tifa run around the boss. With Parry, Tifa can easily evade Beam Cannon while aiming it away from the others. Have Cloud cast a second Thundaga as soon as possible if you want to knock the boss down. Place an Arcane Ward for Cloud and Aerith and use ATB boost so Aerith can cast Thundaga. Now that the boss is down, you can target the left leg and the right leg. Our goal is to just keep crippling the legs so the boss never gets the chance to fight. Make sure to have Tifa cast haste on everyone. Then just keep hitting the boss with Tifa. ATV assist will help give ATP to the others. Whenever they have ATV, have Cloud and Aerith hit the legs with Thundaga. And that's basically the entire fight. Just keep punching and casting Thundaka. If they're close to having enough ATP, switch characters to fill in the last bit. If you end up giving the boss time to recover, don't panic. Just move to its side. Almost all of its attacks only hit in front of it. Just keep up damage to bring it back down. Just like the other bosses, we made the Pride and Joy prototype look easy. Congratulations on obtaining the ultimate weapon trophy in Gota Damarang, the strongest accessory in the game. I hope you found this guide helpful. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and click on subscribe if you want to keep up with future content. Thanks for watching.